It's too cold. Here's Cameron in Ledyard, Connecticut. Great to have you. Open line Friday. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. It's a 10-year-old. I just saw that. Hi, hi, Cameron. How are you? Good. Well, I'm glad that you called. It's great to have you on the program. Great to be talking to you. Well, thank you very much. What What's on your mind? What did you want to talk about? I wanted to talk about the Rush Revere and the Brave Pilgrims. Ah, uh, you've read that? Yep. Did you like it? Like it? I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Cameron, I love you. <laughs> what a great answer. Like it? I loved it. That's great, Cameron. Thank you very much. I, I, I appreciate that. Is your favorite? Who's your favorite character? What was your favorite part? Well, Rush was my favorite character. And my favorite part? Really, the boat. And they were on the boat with, like, all, all of them that were on. Yeah, the Mayflower. So you like Rush Revere. He'll be happy to hear that because he's getting a little jealous of all the fan mail that Liberty is getting. Well, I also think you should, like, make one about the Revolutionary War. Well, you want me to write another book about mm -hmm. the Revolutionary War? Well, okay, that's not a bad idea. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take your suggestion, and I'll think very hard about it. Because if you'd like to read about it, I think it'd be well worth your while. What, 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 what interests you about the American Revolutionary War that you want to know more about? Well, mainly the true, like, main stories about all the backgrounds on everyone in it. So you want to know about the people that made it happen? Yeah. Okay, well, we could probably do that at some point. Have you heard, by any chance, Cameron, have you heard the audio version of the book? Or have you just... No. You haven't? I've just read it. Just the reading book. Okay, well, just the book. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, when we're through here, don't hang up the phone. Mr. Snurdly will pick the phone back up, and he'll get your address... And we will send you an audio version of the book so that you can listen to it. And it's read by me, so you will really like it. Hmm. And and right. that way you can you can it's an entirely different experience from reading. It's the same words, it's the same book, but rather than you read it, I read it out loud and you can hear it and uh it takes about four and a half hours to listen to it at one time, so you may not be able to spend all at one time doing it. But whatever you want to listen to a little of it, you can. Mm. You can have your mom put it on in a car, uh, or however you listen to music, you could listen to it that way. So, Cameron, hang on, and Mr. Snurdly, the nice man who answered the phone when you called. He was nice, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah, good. Well, he'll be right back with you. Get your address so we can send you the audio version. Folks, I I have to tell you something here. I, if you would have told me five years ago that 10-year-olds would have been calling here and asking me to write, I, 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 would have, I would have asked you, what do you know that I don't? But this is the most amazing thing to have... This is the target group, age 10 to 13. Actually, the book is written for everybody, for parents and grandparents to uh, read to the kids or to read with them. But it's written for the 10 to 13 age group. 